Hello fellow humans, Chris here again. So uh, today here in California is the last day of the statewide indoor mask mandate. Starting tomorrow, anyone fully vaccinated will be allowed to go to indoors public settings uh, maskless, with the exception of uh, public schools. So for at least two more weeks, public schools will still be required to uh, mask up. I, I don't want to beat a dead horse here. I've talked about this in the past. Um, I just kind of wanted to talk very briefly, briefly about my thoughts on everything. Um, I've, I, I, I really honestly just wish they would just lift the mandate and continue to strongly encourage people to mask up because honestly, at this point, it wouldn't make any other difference. Um, I don't really trust that uh, unvaccinated people are going to continue to wear their masks now that it's now that it's lifted. You see somebody not wearing a mask, you don't question it. People aren't going to be checking your vax card, so it's it's an honor system. It's what it is, and I just know from personal experience, and I know this is anecdotal, but I, I do think that. There's merit to it. <laughs> when I was in Medford, um, the hotel I was staying at didn't require you to mask up if you were fully vaccinated. I was pretty much, with the exception of maybe a couple of my colleagues, uh, the only person masking up in that hotel. And I would say that um, being uh, generous... 25% of the unmasked people were actually vaccinated. And again, that's being generous, I think. Really generous, maybe. Uh, just based on kind of what I know about the demographics of that area. Um, I masked up just out of my own protection more than anything. Uh, because again, I don't, I don't trust people uh, to be truly vaccinated when they say they are. Um, and I think that it is kind of, there's kind of an ironic correlation between people who will continue to wear their masks going forward, me being one of them, uh, even when it's not required, and people who will falsely represent themselves to be vaccinated and will not wear a mask. Um, I, I almost think that it's going to be worse because... Now, those people will be the ones not wearing masks. And I'm not saying that's going to be the case across the board, but uh, I, I don't see why it would be any other way, to be honest. I mean, if, you, if you're against getting vaccinated, if you're against wearing masks, um, then why would, you, why would you mask up now? Now that it's, it's being lifted and you just have to be vaccinated, but you know you're not going to be be checked on that. So really, there's no reason. So I, I think that they should just, especially when you have situations like Gavin Newsom being caught uh, in public without wearing a mask, and this isn't the first time that's happened, uh, it, it, just, it just doesn't look good. Uh, it would just look better to just say, look, we strongly encourage it going by CDC guidelines and just leave it at that. Uh, or else just do a, a full full on mandate. Uh, either way, I'm gonna still wear the mask. Uh, I, I wear the uh, the K94s like I talked about before. Those ones are the best for protecting you from other people. So I wear it. My kids wear it. And you know that's kind of the best we can do. You know personally, I, I don't have a, a strong opinion on. The whole statewide mandate thing. I think that it's a pretty easy thing to do. I mean, I personally think that. My kids don't really know much else, uh, especially my youngest. Um, you know, since they've been in school, they've been wearing them. And they're pretty accustomed to it by now. And uh, it's not really burdensome to them. And, you know, as I've said before, I... I, I've enjoyed the, I've enjoyed wearing the mask for the kind of camaraderie of it amongst other people also wearing them. 
you know, you feel like you're not alone. You feel like you're part of something bigger that has a virtuous end goal. And, you know, I acknowledge that uh, in my area, we've gotten, we've gone down like 75%, I think, in the last month of COVID cases, which is great. Uh, but obviously, part of that is due to people masking up, people maintaining social distance, people taking those proper precautions. So when you lift that, it's, it's not rocket science. I mean, this is what's happened in the past. It's happened last summer. It's happened the year before that too, where mandates or certain restrictions would be lifted and cases would go back up. I predict fairly strongly here that something like that is going to happen. Now, it might not be as bad as it was because uh, Omicron seems to be kind of on the decline, uh, which was kind of the more contagious version of COVID that we've had. And we are getting more people vaccinated, so I'm cautiously optimistic that it won't draw back as bad as it did before. But I do think that cases are going to go back up now. Um, and again, I just think that um, it just seems kind of like you're just sort of bowing to political pressures. Um, obviously, the mask mandates shouldn't be in place forever uh, in, in perpetuity. But um, I think at this point, doing what you're doing, you may as well just lift the mandate across the board um, because people who are unvaccinated, they're just going to go unmasked now anyway. And people who, are, who may be fully vaccinated and who just want to take extra precautions, like my situation, they're going to continue to mask up again, regardless of the, the mandate. Uh, you know, people do what they feel is right for them. The last thing I want to say really quick is um, just kind of speaking again on the the issue of the mask itself. And uh, when I was deployed last month, uh, last year, um, it, it, it got tedious sometimes wearing the mask all the time because um, you're in the face of the public. So you have to, you have to represent the best of what we're trying to portray. Uh, so even when I was outside and I'm a thousand feet from an, any other person, uh, I still have to be wearing the mask because I'm in the public eye. And that, that kind of reinforced the idea of the solidarity and the community aspect of it. And I kind of grew to be accustomed to it. And honestly, in a way, it, it almost kind of felt like a security blanket, uh, especially when you're a... a um, a very introverted person like myself, um, you know, I do have a <laughs> more animated personality to people that know me really well, um, people that I'm close to, but I am also pretty introverted and um, wearing the mask kind of sometimes gives me a feel of uh, sort of protection from just random people. Um, and that's obviously with COVID specifically, but also just in general, being, um, you know, how much I want to interact uh, with other people. So anyway, coming back home from that to a situation where the masks mandates uh, had been lifted was, you know, on one hand kind of liberating, uh, but on the other hand kind of frustrating because, you know, you see how quickly people were jumping on getting rid of those masks um, and, you uh, kind of feeling like they did, they had sort of a lack of respect for the, just what people had put into the time that we collectively as a community had put into building ourselves up to that level of where the numbers are getting to where we want them to be, then we unmask, then the numbers regress back to where they were before. So I, I just, I hope that that doesn't happen again now. Um, I, I, I fear that it will, but, um, you know, we don't know. Um, I, I did go, I don't know if you remember, I got pretty sick last summer, and I don't know if it was COVID or not. I tested negative when I, came, when I got tested, but it might have been past the time of when, um, you know, being symptomatic when it would show up on a test. But that was right after I came back from my deployment, and uh, I, we were out to dinner, and 
people were not wearing masks and uh, it wasn't mandated anymore. And I took one trip from my table to the restroom and back and I had taken off my mask. And I remember feeling like, oh my God, this is amazing. Feeling free and liberated again um, just for that one little trip. And like a day later, I got sick as a dog and uh, it lasted for a few weeks. So I don't know if that had to do with that or not, or if it was just random or if it was something else, uh, or if it was just part of the relief of finally being back home and everything, you know, my body just uh, taking everything in. I don't know. But I've been extra careful about staying masked up since then uh, because it just takes one time uh, slipping up to, uh, you know, contribute to the pandemic getting getting to a worse place than where it is. So anyway, um, I'd be curious what people's thoughts are on that. Do you continue to wear your mask even if it's not mandated? Um, do you, are, are you getting tired of it? Are you getting tired of the idea of having to wear a mask because of other people choosing not to get vaccinated or not to wear masks or not taking it seriously? Because um, there's, there's obviously a human element to hear to this as well. And, uh, it, you know, it, it, it gets it gets tiring. I, I definitely get that. Uh, anyway, that's my thoughts on the matter. Uh, let me know what you think. I will catch up with you all again very soon. Have a great rest of your day. Stay safe. Take care of yourselves and each other. And uh, don't be afraid to question the consensus.